Hello friends and fam, enlightened beings, Hardcore Yogi here. So the topic of this video is finding magic in the everyday, finding magic among the mundane. What does this mean? Well, I guess I'll give the definition of magic that I have in my mind, and then from there you'll be able to search for it yourself. <clears throat> to me, something is magic when it has more effect than what it appears to have on the surface. It is greater than the sum of its parts. And to explain this, I'll use a couple of examples. So I'm going to go for the two examples of yoga and semen retention. They're two things I've been very much into. But as I said, there could be magic in many things in life. So how are these magical in a sense? Well, for one, let's look at yoga. So, as I said, it is something which has an effect which is more than you think it would be on the surface, on appearances, and it is greater than the sum of its parts. So on the surface, yoga, it looks like some movements, um, you know, a way to help bring mobility to the joints, stretch the muscles, activate the muscles a little bit, breathe well, maybe relax you a little bit, etc. It just looks like any form of exercise, you know. But to me, in my experience, it has effects that are different to just any form of exercise. When you do your asana posture, then pranayama, a bit of meditation at the end, it just, it puts me, at least me, maybe others, into a state that is very distinct. It's different to other exercises. In short, it just makes me feel so, so happy, such a glimmer in my eye, so filled with joy. My mind just aligns to the vision of what is right in this world, what is right in my life, the direction I wish to move, all that is going well for me my intention, it just aligns my perspective. It renews my gratitude and my purpose. So it's really a mental game. It's a mind game in that sense, what it does. What also it does is it just makes me feel so utterly relaxed, so utterly at peace. Um, Yet also with such a great circulation, I feel like blood and oxygen just is flowing through my brain. So I feel this peak alertness and this little bit of swag and creative energy. It just completes your state. I think one great hallmark of a, of a great state is when you are very relaxed and very alert. You could also add in very creative. And it just, it just does that to an extent that goes beyond anything else. And yeah, you just feel more in touch with the creative energies in yourself and in the cosmos around you. Um, it awakens your sense of connection. So because of all those things, yoga to me is magical. It has an effect that is more potent and which just transcends the effect you think it would have as an outsider looking, looking at it on the surface. So yeah. Now let's also look at semen retention as one practice and one outlet of magic. On the surface, what does it look like? It looks like, you know, when you blow your load, you might get a little bit, you might get tired afterwards. You might be a bit flat or lethargic, relaxed, you know. So therefore, if you don't blow your load, then you won't have that little dip of energy. You'll stay a bit more high energy. You'll stay with a little bit more oomph, etc. That's what it looks like on the surface. But the effects that it has, it just goes beyond that. It goes beyond a little bump in energy in both the potency of it and even the kind of outcome. 
I mean, when you do it, yeah, you have more of a boost in energy, but as I said in the previous video, your whole vibration lifts. It's like your mind, these doors start to open up in your mind and you can see things you couldn't before. Your perception is sharper. Um, you start getting your whole life in order. You know, it's not just a little bit more energy going fueling through the pistons as you do the same old shit you were doing. No, it actually transforms the things that you do. The things that you do start to resonate on this whole other level. And it is gradual. It's just gradual things you start implementing. But it's like you just feel this compulsion to to really iron out the kinks in your life and to get your life more on track in every way. Um, yeah. And it just it brings that twinkle in your eye. Similar to what I was saying with yoga, it brings that twinkle in your eye, a little bit more joy, a little bit more spring in your step, swivel of your hips sort of thing. It really goes levels beyond what maybe an outsider on the surface would think, which is, oh, you know, a little energy boost because you don't have that flat line, that, uh, you don't have that energy loss. But no, it transforms to something higher. So these things I've explained, or these things I've spoken to with the yoga, with semen retention, um, in a sense, it can't be explained. Like, you can try and explain how that works, how they have such a pronounced effect, but you're never going to be able to unpack or identify the, the whole mechanisms of it and the whole mystery of it. You can maybe speak to some parts of it, but when you experience it, you just know that there's something here, there's like a sort of a key to a lock, and it's hard to explain it. So yeah, that's my concept of magic in the everyday. It is something which cannot be easily explained. It's something which has a stronger effect than you think it would. And it is something that is greater than the sum of its parts. Anyway, I wish you the best in finding magic among the mundane. Maybe drop any links in this comment. What is magic to you? What is greater than the sum of its parts? What brings more than meets the eye? Thank you for listening. Namaste.